So this is about earthquakes and seismic waves. So let's try and understand why an earthquake happens. Well, if you think about the structure of the earth, there is a liquid mantle, but on top of that, there is a crust. And that crust, which is solid, is made up of tectonic plates. And those tectonic plates, they're not still, they can move around because in the liquidy mantle below, there are things called convection currents which can move the plates around very slowly. Now, if two plates are rubbing against each other and suddenly move like that, that creates seismic waves, which are waves which will then travel through the earth and will cause an earthquake. There are two types of waves which are seismic waves. One is called S waves and the other is called P waves. And we'll have a look at those more closely in a moment. So we had two types of seismic wave and they are called S waves and P waves and they are released, they come out of the focus point where the actual earthquake takes place. The point on the Earth's surface directly above that focus point is called the epicenter. So we've got S waves and P waves which are coming out in all directions from that focus point. S waves, they are transverse waves um, and they're slower than P waves and the part, they push the Earth particles from side to side. P waves, they're longitudinal, they push and pull the particles back and forth like that and they're faster than S waves. Now, what you need to know is that these P waves and S waves, they can both be reflected and they can be refracted and as they hit boundaries in between different parts, parts of rock, they can either be reflected or they can change, uh, change speed and in which case they are refracted. So you need to know that S waves and P waves may both be refracted or reflected.